Hi, just messing around with uh, an old Stevie Wonder tune from my youth. My Sharia Moore is actually written by Stevie Wonder, Henry Cosby, and Sylvia Moy. Uh, strangely, I never heard of the other two people. But um, I think this came out in 68, so I was a little kid. But when I heard it, I think it was the, one of the first pop songs I heard that had a real prettiness to it. And I didn't know it then, but it turns out I think it was largely because of the major sevenths and the, uh, the 11 chords or the suspended fourth chords that are in the song. I've always liked it. Uh, Stevie Wonder, I think, has a little bit of uh, genius to him, you know, uh, especially his ballads. I mean, he just wrote some gorgeous stuff uh, and, and some very, very uh, sophisticated harmonies and beautiful melodies that he wrote. Um, let's take a look at it. It's in the key of G. Um, start with the D7. Okay, so D7 down here with the root on the uh, fifth string, fifth fret. So the first two notes are D, E, D, E up to B, right? So rather than have a kind of staccato thing of moving from the D7 to the D9, what I do is I just play the D7, then kind of release the pressure on the index finger and play the first string. It's just a little more legato, a little more of a singing aspect to it. Now we've got, okay, so all that's happening here is it's a it's a C major seven. I'm barring the first four strings. I've got a finger on the first string seventh fret. If you can, I think it sounds a little better if you put the C on the fifth string third fret. If you can't do it, it's no big deal. Now I come here for this little C major seven. So what we've got is second string eighth, third string ninth, fourth string ninth, ninth. Okay. Let's try that again. Now, this is just F major 7, the same chord as this. Open first string. I just like it here better. You know, on the guitar, things can sound different depending on where you play them. One more time. Now, change this to a F7. Now play the open string. Now play. It's really, the root is here. It's in F9 sharp 11. 
somewhat hip for a kid who I think he was, tw uh, what was he, 28 or 27 when this came out? Okay, so this F9, sharp 11, down to a regular F7, down to an F13. Okay, so here we go. Let's try it one more time from the top. F9 sharp 11, F7, F13, back up to, barring the first three string seventh fret, you've got the root fourth string fifth fret, G major seven. Then I repeat it. This time for the F13, we're gonna go up here. Okay, you probably know that one by now. It's a F9, but with the pinky on the first string, 10th fret. So that's the intro. Now we're into Masharia Sharia Moore, the beginning of the vocal. So it's the same technique here. Release the pressure on this index finger. So you get D, E. Now our melody is F sharp on top of a G major 7. the open first string. Now we're going to go to a different F major 7. Okay, again, starting with the vocal melody, my Sharia Moore. Okay, and one thing I just throw in that's not essential, it, I'm not even sure it sounds that wonderful, but is to do, okay, beginning of the vocal again. All it is is after I play this first, it's a G major seven. It's actually a G major seven uh, first inversion because we've got the B on the seventh fret sixth string. I pluck the open fifth string and the open fourth string, and then go to this other F major seven. Okay, D eleven. Uh, not D eleven. Sorry about that. C11. So I've got barring the um, middle four strings at the third fret, and I'm adding the pinky for our melody, which is F, second string. Now, what's nice here is you can do a little, you can do a little bit of this stuff. You know, you're barring here. You've got the pinky on the fifth string, you've got the ring finger on the fourth string. But if you make sure that you bar covers the fourth string as well, you can do this little Curtis Mayfield Hendrix flavor, which isn't in the uh, original recording by Stevie Wonder at all, but same era. Here's the second repeat. C11 with the F on the second string. D11, again barring the inside four strings. Now put the G on the second string. This is like the very intro. C major seven. Now the melody note's gonna stay first string seventh fret B, but the chord's gonna change to B11. Here's F13 again. Going to F9 sharp 11. Let's just take that little phrase. Barring the first three strings with the middle finger, we've got this on the fourth string. Blot out the fifth string and play everything. That gives you the fat open E on the bottom. So it's an E9. You're the only girl my heart beats for. Now we've got a B minor seven. Okay, so B minor seven. If you do it my way, just do a little hybrid picking and avoid strumming the fifth string. So we've got. 
Now we're going to move this form up two frets and play the open sixth string on the bottom. That's an E7 as well. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to F, I'm not F, sorry, A, so it's an A7, okay, but we're going to just play, we're going to finger the first four strings, barring with the index finger, first four strings, this is on the third string, and we're going to add the pinky to get our melody note, we're going to play the open fifth string as well, down to this A7, okay, and how I wish that, uh, how I wish that you So it's D13, D7, and the melody is 2nd string, 12, 10, 8, B, A, G, and then hold this and add in, okay. So you repeat that a couple of times, then we come to the ending, which is the same as the intro. So I've got the G down here on the bottom, and I'm barring the first four strings, seventh fret. So that gives you kind of a G major nine. Anyway, my Sharia Moore, nice little Stevie Wonder tune. It's one of those ones that's kind of hard to get sick of, even though you've been listening to it for 50 years. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you like the tune. Um, I seem to be harking back to the late 60s, mid 60s. Uh, anyway, have fun practicing, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.